Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the magical world of Skyrim! As you can see, I have reacquired the companions. What I also did was I got a modded set of armor called the Armor of Thorns. It looks badass and it's based on Ornstein's armor from Dark Souls. As always, all the links will be in the description. Now, whilst I was getting some arrows in Skyrim, check this shit out! Shargam, as it turns out his name is, not Shagram or Shagrath as I've been calling him, tried to have me assassinated. I shit ye not. God damn, that was quite the surprise. I will have my revenge on him, but for now we're going to ignore him, because he might be important to a quest or something. What I am going to do, however, is check here to see if we can actually use the refined wormstone and the brimstone that we got, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, I've been through everything and I cannot seem to find it there, but uh, maybe I missed it, but I don't think I did. I think it's got a use, however. Maybe we have to use it on a smelter? I don't know, quite frankly, but uh, when we find a smelter, I will try. Now, you guys told me to explore, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's check out some of these houses. The East Empire Company Trading House. Sounds exciting. What's in here? Oh, hey, it's that guy, Lurius Lior. What's up, buddy? How's the rebuild coming along, pal? Most of the damage has been repaired, and ore shipments have resumed. So, it's business as usual right now. Oh, I was hoping that would initiate a side quest or something. Maybe they're planning to expand that, or we can just come back later. I have no idea. I have absolutely... Oh! Refined Wormstone, I want you. There we go. I am a thief and you know it. Oh, a playable loot. Out of my way, playable loot. Damn it, Dover Bear, why must you stand in the doorway? Oh, by the way, I re-added all of the Dragonborn <laughs> shouts, so we can do stuff like this. <laughs> and knock Dover Bear the hell... Whoa! Knock Dover Bear the hell out of the way, and apparently just I'll go too, because you know. You deserve it, you bastard. Right, let's venture back outside, because there doesn't seem to be all too much going on in the East Empire Company trade house, and yes, that dragon is still there. Ooh, what's this? The place looks awesome. It might be a Hall of the Dead, actually. Yeah, it is a Hall of the Dead. All right, then, let's check it out, see if there's any dragger, dragger running around in here, and we might get some action. Oh, there's a shrine. I should cure myself. I'm pretty sure I am diseased up to the balls, because, you know... Been sleeping with too many of those damn Skyrim prostitutes. Dover Bear, get out the damn way. He's like those kids in school that, you know, when one stands behind you and the other one pushes you over? Is that just me? That's what he tries to do to me. Jazago is the guy pushing me over Dover Bear. Every god ding dang diddly ding dong time. What's all the books all over the place? Some shit went down here. Some shit went down. And there was a lot of skulls. I mean, I know this is... Oh, god damn it. I mean, I get that this is basically a morgue, but you don't just keep human skulls all over the place. Unless you're a complete psychopath, and trust me, I know from personal experience. Oh, there's a coffin. Coffin! Really? S is coffin? That's, that's a bit strange. I feel like that's a typo. Yeah, there seems to be a regular Hall of the Dead calling all. Damn it! Jazago move, thank you. You are much better than Dover Bear. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it seems to be a regular Hall of the Dead. Don't seem to be much going on here. Maybe there's a priest or something. Hello? Are you in here molesting young children? Particularly small boys? Hey, some money, yoink. Well, don't seem to be much going on here, so let's venture back outside and see what else we can find. Picking flowers, making movies, making songs, and fighting around the world. We will randomly check out this guy's house, because, you know, why the hell not? Well, I see no alchemy ingredients. Give them to me. I must have them. God, I love my alchemy. Right, so what's going on here? Ooh, okay. A metric ton of flutes and porno. Well, just in case there's something underneath that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, Dover Bear. For once, I didn't actually mean to get you with that. So, was there something hiding under the pile? I don't know. It's gone everywhere, but uh, I don't think so. Ooh, what's this? Bazrob's journal. Is this long? No, it's not. Then I shall read it. If you were to say that I was destined to become the King of Nipples... What? <laughs> I would not deny it. I would celebrate it. I would rejoice in the very thought of it. I would bathe in its glory and feast mightily upon the very idea that such a destiny could be mine for the taking. To assume the throne of Nipples is my undeniable destiny. I feel it. I feel it in my nipples. Nipples hardened like last winter's snow. Nipples hardened and tempered, such that I could strike fear into the hearts of men and beasts alike. Yes, I have fashioned my nipples into daggers, sturdy like the tusks of a hawker, or the teeth of a mountain bear. I take great pride in the potency of my nipples. The world is cold. People are cold. I must also harden my heart, as I have hardened my nipples. <laughs> I just don't know what to say to that. I, I, 
I just had no idea. Whoever wrote that was batshit insane. Maybe we can find the owner of the house around here and, uh, see what's up with him and his nipples. What's up, yes. people? Talk to me. Love me. I want you to love me. Damn it. Why does nobody in this goddamn town give me a quest? This isn't like normal Skyrim where absolutely everybody gives you a quest. What are you what's up, at? buddy? Gashnag. You have a cool name and you look kind of badass. Boy, hey, this is his longhouse. Cause Gashnag ain't be doing with no short house, oh no no! Let's see what we can rob from him. <laughs> What's in here? Baked potatoes? I don't want your crappy baked potatoes. Get out of my sight. Right, so, ooh, there's a flower. Let's mess it up. <laughs> right, is there anything good? There is a chest. This is very promising. What's in the box? Some gold. Eh, a lot of pig guys, I guess that's okay. There ain't too much here, is there? Oh, some money and Dover Bear in the way. We'll take the money and we'll do that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, damn it. I was going to check around, but I seem to have launched it absolutely everywhere. Well, all right, then. I guess we'll leave. Still not seem to be much going on in this town. I guess we should probably check around getting one of the dungeons or something, because, uh, like I said, there doesn't seem to be a whole hell of a lot you can do here after you've beaten the main quest. Ah, screw it. Let's talk to these last few people very quickly before we leave. What's up, cat people? Please. Nothing? And? Boots. Nothing. Well, fantastic. What's this? Just shove it, Earl's note. Sometimes this one can only shake his head and wonder. Last Sunday, a man asks, How do I use the bear trap you're selling? This one stood in amazement. Simply set the trap and place it on the ground. I do not call them placeable bear traps for nothing. Once you have caught your quarry, pick it up and set it elsewhere. This one expects to find him face down in the dirt soon. Such a stupid one does not survive long in a place such as this. Oh, that's right, I remember you can actually buy placeable bear traps in this mod, can't you? So that means one of you bastards must Gross do something. Yes. Game. Finally, we found a merchant. Sell me your bear traps, you son of a bitch. You've only got five? Fine, I will take them all. Give them to me. Not that I will ever remember to use them, and you know I won't, but damn it, we've got some anyway. Alright, I'm gonna get back on Brittany and I'll ride around a little bit and see what we can find. I has come across some kind of fort. It looks like it might be occupied to me. It looks like tents or something other. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at, quite frankly. But it looks like there might be actual legitimate people here, because it looks like a working fort. Hello, is there anyone here? Well, we're not being attacked yet. That's a good sign. That is always a good sign. I don't see anyone. I'm scared. Hold me, Scoob. Ruh, roll raggy. Let's go into the muster and see what's going on here. Ooh, hey. Started reclaiming the past. What does that say? Ask Lurius Lure about Fort Vallis. What does the journal say? I found an old abandoned fort on Worstooth. I should speak to Lurius Lior about the fate of Fort Vallis. Intriguing. What's up, Dover Bear? Right, so, this looks to me at a glance like a DIY player owned home. Seems very interesting to me. Not that I'd ever use the damn thing, but hey, a quest is a quest. But before we go back to him, just in case this is a DIY player owned home, let's see what it actually looks like beforehand. What's down here? A, a, a hidden wall, okay. Oh, and a pull chain. Well, check me out. I've been at two seconds and I'm already finding secrets. I'm just that goddamn awesome and Dover Bear, could you please not teleport on top of me in tiny little other ways? It makes it ridiculously difficult to move. I'm gonna get my spear out because I am expecting some hostility down here. Hello? I don't want no trouble. I swear to God, I don't want no trouble and I'm not going to murder you in cold blood. Okay, I'm totally gonna murder you in cold blood. What the hell are you? What are you? It's a witch. Well, I'm guessing you are probably gonna be hostile, so prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> that was way more amusing to me than it probably should have been. I, okay, I see a wood ball down there. I want you. I want you inside of me, right? Come at me, you old hag. Let's use dragon aspect. Digivolve. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. Change into... Oh, God, don't fireball me. Bitch. <laughs> Hit butted to death. Like a badass. That was completely unnecessary. But damn, did that feel good. And you have nothing of worth on you. You complete... Hey, Daedra Arch. Nice. You complete scumbag. Get out of my search. Right. Fill me with your power wall. Well, that was awesome and unexpected. Turns out we accidentally stumbled across the second word of power. On this island, only one more to go. 
I'm okay with that. I don't have any Dragon Souls at the moment, but as soon as we get one, I will use it to unlock the next shot, and uh, we will test it out. Anyway, I'm very quickly going to loot all these alchemy ingredients, because damn it, I need them, eh? And potions, nice. Then we'll check out the rest of the house and return to Lurius. Alrighty, let's check out the rest of the house. I'm pretty sure that was the only place we went, so uh, we got check in here. And upstairs, this looks like a kitchen or something, maybe? There's bellows in the fireplace. I have no idea. Oh, Dover Bear's stuck in the doorway. You complete moron. And that is where a throne would be. Yeah, this definitely looks like a fixer-upper. What's in here? Oh, it's like a... It's like a mini swimming pool, except, you know, not even not even deep enough to drown yourself in. <laughs> it's like the worst swimming pool in the world, but damn it, it's the thought that counts. Got okay, some beds and stuff in here. Amazing. Oh, what's this? It's a journal of the Dusty variety. How long you missed the Dusty journal? Four pages. Okay, that's not that bad. Let's read it. Screw it. Construction is underway on a new fort closer to the docks in the mining settlement. Of course, that makes us pretty much obsolete down here. Kenya says we'll be a resigned soon, so perhaps it's for the best. The stories he's told about the history of this fort have had me on edge ever since I arrived. Stories about witches that once lived here during the time the fort were first went unmanned. Silly stories when you come to think about it, but sometimes I hear whispers echoing through the cracks in the stone, likely just the smith's work of the forge. But I can't help but wonder whether there's any truth to it. So there you go, there are witches! He wasn't crazy. After all, Valus was built on top of an ancient Indian burial ground. Even now, as I write, I feel a pair of hungry eyes upon me. Angvar is late as usual. He was supposed to deliver the supplies to Thedor a week ago. If he's late again, Bolar... God damn these people's names. Might reassign him to cleaning duty. Gunnor's bowels reacting explosively to the chef's cuisine last night. So that ought to give him extra incentive to deliver these supplies on time for a damn change. Also here, there's another outbreak of rock joint in the mining settlement again. I feel sorry for those poor suds. Mining ice caves has got to be one of the worst jobs imaginable. Do you know what is the worst job imaginable? Trying to read Skyrim's shitty font without tripping over your damn words. I don't know why, but I really, really hate that goddamn font. That's why I don't read unless I absolutely have to. It's terrible. It's just terrible anyway. Moving swiftly on, let's check out the rest of the house very quickly. <laughs> I am glad, however, that we did find the book, because it explains why there were witches underneath the house, because quite frankly, I was a little bit confused. It don't make no sense to me. I wonder if they respawn. I'm hoping that they don't, but if they do, you're going to have to kill witches underneath your damn house every time you want to come in here, or, you know, just deal with it. But, uh, it kind of creeps me out, man. It creeps me out. By the way, this glitchy thing you see here, that's not the modder's fault. That's just the way, uh... That's the way the solitude houses are built. I had the same problem when I was trying to make one in the creation kit. Anyway, let's go back to Lurius Leon and find out what the hell he wants. Ah, there you are. Why is this guy your bodyguard or something? Can you tell me about the old abandoned fort south of the ducks? Ah, uh, yes. Fort Valus. An old imperial fort constructed to deter pirates and invading armies arriving from the south. But ever since Fort Moonwatch was constructed, Fort Valus fell into disrepair, being too far away from the mining settlement. I suppose if it wasn't for the ill rumors surrounding the place, bandits would have overrun it by now. What are the rumors? Are they g -g 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 ghosts? Oh, it's just nonsense, really. Some say witches use it for necromantic practices, but Legion scouts have been unable to find anything. Listen, with the mines reopening, I would sleep much sounder knowing that fort won't fall into the hands of some unsavory bunch. If you'd like to purchase the land, I'd be more than happy to sell you the deed, and help you hire craftsmen to bring the place up to your standards. You can make that place yours, and hire a crew to protect and maintain it, or let it sink further into decay. The choice is yours. What services can you offer, and are they sexual? Okay, how much for the deed? I can sell you the deed. Thirty grand? You're breaking my balls, gold. sir. Sir, you are breaking my balls. That seems a bit expensive. I can't afford. Let's see if we can haggle with him. That seems a bit expensive. Course, it is an imperial fort, after all, and the empire invested a great deal into its construction. So no that's noble, a no. Not snobbish nobles. But the decision is yours, Dragonborn. You are completely ripping me off, but fine, I'll buy the deed. Well, the deed to Fort Valus is now in your hands, Dragonborn. Please do take good care of it. Speak to me again, should you need any services. 
Well, there goes most of my money. You Speak to Lurius Lior about upgrading Fort Valis. I'd like to purchase some upgrades for my home, budget. please. Holy crap. There's a lot of stuff. Well, 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 I will buy... Uh, I will buy for... You know what's great? We will get everything. Even though this is going to be literally all of my money, we're going to buy all the upgrades just so you guys can see it. There we go, everything is bought. Let's pay a visit to our newly upgraded home. Alrighty, here's the old girl in all her glory. Do we have people running around here now? I see a freaking smithy. I'm so very excited. It already looks a hell of a lot better, I would give it that much, and we even have our own goddamn windmill, so, you know, that's something. Not that we really need a windmill, but it's nice to have, I guess. Now let's see if we can actually do something with the wormstone and brimstone in here. Uh, oh, oh, that's how you turn them into bars. But what do we use the bars for? I have no idea. If anyone knows, feel free to let me know, because I'm pretty sure I must do something. But I have no goddamn clue. And it's really irritating. It really irritates me. What's this? Oh, that's a smithy. Okay, I got lost already in the courtyard. <laughs> I have such a terrible sense of direction. Ah, kill it! Kill it with fire! Oh, never mind. It's just you, Gisargo. You scared the crap out of me being in my face as soon as I come through the door. How do my NPCs, my followers, always beat me into everywhere? Like, where the hell's Dover Bear? He's either outside or wandering around here somewhere, and considering there's bowls and shit all over the floor, I'm guessing he's trampled around here. That bastard, hey! We have a throne. Nice. You keep your grubby mitts off my throne, Jazargo. I'm watching you. Why is there a bucket floating in my shallow, shallow swimming pool? I don't get it. You know what I will say, already, this looks- Oh my god, there's Dover Bear, he's gonna knock everything over! Even though he already seems to have done. What I will say is, this looks far superior- Oh, check this out. Far superior to the, uh, Solitude Home. Proud Spire Manor, is that what it's called? The Dusty Journal is still here. Nice, glad to see I didn't clear that up. Bastard decorators. Never do what you pay them for. Right, let's check out over here, and then we'll check out downstairs. And, uh, um, I doubt the, uh, and now the witch's abode's gone through a, you know, a painting and decorating, but, uh, you never know, it might have done Dover Bear. Why do you always block me in? God damn. God damn, man. God damn, I love him, but he is the most irritating follower ever. Always in the damn way. Always. Who the hell are you? Get out of my house. Oh, that's, uh, that's our smithy. I expected him to be outside, that would have made more sense to me. But alrighty then, so why do we have a smithy area in here and outside? Hmm? Well, I guess that's okay, but it seems Something. kind of redundant. And you apparently don't say a goddamn thing? Well, I'm glad I bothered to hire you, you selfish prick. You know what, let's, uh, let's close up the secret coven of witches and whatever the hell that is. It's a word war, okay? We will call it the word war. I shall call him... Mini-me. Anyway, as long as I haven't lost my sense of direction, I believe this is the last room we have to check. What I want to know is, where's my damn chef? I hired a chef. I hired a gardener as well. Where's my gardener and where's my chef? Chef from South Park specifically, but you know, any in general will do. Who the hell are you? Get off my property. Ch -ch -ch. You, you got till three. Okay, you're my guard. We're guards. I'll let you off this time, but next time <laughs> you'll be in trouble. <laughs> That's right. I'm threatening my own staff. That's what I do. What's this? We didn't actually check these buildings before, did we? They have very weird steps. It's the common house. We upgraded this. I remember that much, but we definitely did not go in here. What exactly is the common house? Besides, you know, looking absolutely bloody awesome. That's probably in part because of the, uh, sexy... Sexy solitude? Yeah, probably sexy solitude mod that I've got on. I don't know, man. I'm using a lot of graphics mods, and it gets very, very confusing. Damn it, Jazargo! I'm trying to click on the door! Why must you always be the center of attention? Get out of my sight! Wow, he did. He's, he's hiding around the corner now in shame. Good. You stay there, you bastard. I'm kidding. I love you, really. You look like a nun in that hoodie, and it's absolutely ridiculous. Right, that's the door back outside. Don't block the doorway, Dover Bear. Why? Why? <laughs> Get your fat ass out of here. So I think we can, right, we came in behind us because the fireplace was there. I remember that much. I remember that much. I remember things back in my day. What's upstairs? There's a knapsack potion? Yes. There's always a token potion in a goddamn knapsack, and it's usually 
right near the bottom like that. It's very strange. But hey, free potion, so that, that's a good thing, because I still haven't done any damn alchemy, despite the fact that I pick up every goddamn alchemy ingredient I can find. I've been way too lazy to make potions on this guy, so anywhere I can get potions is most definitely a good thing. We did not check this out, the barracks. I'm expecting a jail here with lots of people locked up, and them preferably being tortured, and this will make me a very happy panda indeed. What's behind door number one? A sleeping guard. Not exactly what I was expecting. Get out of my bed. Oh, there's more. It's a freaking lemon party up in here. That's right, get up. Now get out, soldier. Or you know you could go back to sleep, you lazy son of a bitch. For wow, for once, Dove Bear and Jazago were not blocking the doorway. Take a picture, note it down in the history books. I'm freaking amazed. Ah, this looks like, uh, this looks like where we busted Danelith was her name, I think, out of the cell. I'm probably wrong about that because, you know, I called her uh, Sh Shograth? What the hell was his name? The guy I kept calling Shagram and Shagrath. Sh short, short? I don't know what his name was, so there you go. I'm probably wrong about Danelith, but yeah, this looks very much like where we busted her out. If that even is her name. If that even is your real name. Who are you? Castus yes. Arius? Why do you have a name? You seem like you should be important, but you don't seem to be. This displeases me, and I would like very much if you would get out of my sight. Oh, we have a torture rack, Jazago. Hop on. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Dumb Bear. Every time. Please, I don't want to waste it, and I don't want to hit that guy. And I got him. Let's try and aim it over here. I think I got away with it. Just about. If it weren't for those meddling kids. Scooby Dooby Doo. We really are like the Scooby Gang. Question is, which one am I? I mean, clearly Dover Bear. He's Scooby-Doo, right? I feel like Jazago is probably uh, Shaggy. So who am I? Am I Fred? I don't want to be Velma. Velma's like a, a lesbian. I mean, come on. She's clearly a, like a full-blown, manly freaking lesbian. <laughs> that ain't no woman. She's a lady. Oh, <laughs> she's a lady. I cannot do Tom Jones. And frankly, I don't wish to. Why are there so many goddamn guards around here? Not guarding anything. You are not guarding my things, this makes me very unhappy. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna end it here. We've made some progress, we got a new shout, we now own a new player home, we did a quest damage. We have achieved something in this video, and this makes me very happy. Next time we'll explore around a bit more, try and find a dungeon or something, and hopefully some more side quests. If you guys want to suggest where to go, if you know this place better than me, feel free to leave that in the comments. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna end it here, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, I always appreciate it when you click on the like button, and I will see you guys next time for more Wormstooth.